Hey, what's happening everybody? Today we are installing the Thule Pro Bar on our Ford F-150. The Thule Pro Bar is a really awesome quick detach rack for our T-slot tonneaus. And the best part is it comes with everything needed to install to your tonneau. First step, we're going to unbox everything and clean out the channel where our weather, stri weather stripping is going to go. Then we put a light film of WD-40 in there to help this rubber gasket actually slide into the channel itself. Nothing too special here, just simply work the gasket in down the entire length of the Pro Bar itself, and later on we will be trimming the rubber to work with the end caps. Next we're going to move over to the tonneau to install the pedestal feet. And this is pretty simple and easy. First step we have to install our nut plates to simply slide them into the T-slot and line them up with the bolt holes on your pedestal feet. Once you have everything lined up, you can go ahead and tighten them down. The best thing to point out here is there is different thickness of washers that come with this hardware kit. So you want to make sure you have the right thickness in. What this can do, if you have the wrong thickness in, it will actually prevent the bolt from tightening down as it will bottom out in the T-slot itself. Just something else to watch out for. And this particular install we used the gold washers which worked out pretty nicely for us and allowed us to fully tighten the pedestal feet down. Next we're going to click on the actual pedestals for the Pro Bar. Just like a seatbelt, just simply clicks onto the pedestal feet. Next, we have to slide our pro bar onto the pedestal. As you can see, just simply work onto the pedestal, slide it on both ends, and then after this, we can use a tape measure to help equal out the sides so it's not looking all wonky when it's sitting on our tonneau. Now to fully tighten this pro bar down, you have to expose the allen head to tighten it down. So we're going to push in on the quick detach lock system, slide the cover down, and then you can access the allen head screw that will allow you to tighten the pro bar to the pedestals. Next we can get our end caps onto the pro bar. As you can see, you slide your nut plate into the pro bar itself, and the cap goes simply over the top. Here's where we decided to trim our Pro Bar gasket. Now you can do this beforehand or after, it doesn't really make a bit of difference. And you can trim it using a knife, razor blade, or a set of tin snips like we did here. Now that everything looks good, we can insert our screw and tighten it into the Pro Bar nut plate. Looking good and just about wrapped up with our install here. The next thing we're going to do is install the lock system that Thule graciously supplied with this kit. This comes with every single Pro Bar kit and it does come with all four locks and it's the one key to operate all four locks so super handy system there. First step we actually work out the blank insert cover that's on the pedestal that will open up the slot to insert the lock mechanism. And then to get it in, you actually have to insert and turn to the horizontal position, and then it will just simply slide in to this mechanism. We have a little bit better shot coming up here. So there we go, pop the cap cover off. And then you can see the tabs that will allow the metal tab on the lock itself to go in. So what you're trying to do is get that little tab pushed down, because that will allow it to fully slide into the pedestal. So you insert it, give it a little turn, it turns that tab on the lock in, and then it simply slides into your pedestal. Thanks for checking out our install today guys. Like, follow, subscribe, RHR Sway. RHRSwag.com for the latest and greatest truck accessories. I hope you have a good day guys. Thanks again for tuning in.